Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about some really cool hidden features you will be able to find on iOS 18. Now with iOS 18 being just a few days away from now, we had a lot of time this summer to actually discover all the cool new features that Apple didn't tell us about. And one of them is actually quite new. It has actually been released with the release of the RC version of iOS 18 and you will be able to get it on your device this Monday with the public release of iOS 18 and you will find it under the camera app. So this is an amazing feature. You go to the camera app and you start recording a video. Now once you're doing that you will see now a new button pop up on your screen and that's the pause button. This button will allow you to pause recording the video. Once you have done that, you will then have two options. You can stop here if you just want to cut off the video there, or you can continue recording by tapping again that button, which now turns into a recording button. So you will have this button here all the time, and you can pause and start recording anytime and as many times as you want during a video. The next one will be on the calculator app. So the calculator is one of the apps that has gotten a lot of updates with iOS 18. It's pretty much a new app, even though at the first look, it actually looks exactly like the old one. But you can now even take notes on the calculator app. The way to do it, pretty simple. You tap this button right there. You will have your basic scientific. Then you will have here the convert option, and then you will have math notes you can tap right there and you will be able to actually take notes right here on the calculator app and it even has a section here for your notes where they will actually be saved you tap here you can go ahead and now take a note directly from the calculator app with iOS 18, Apple has also introduced a new app called the Passwords app. We will have all your passwords. You probably have seen this. You will have your pass keys, your codes, your security right there. But then you will also have your Wi-Fi passwords. Now, this allows you to actually share any Wi-Fi password that you have saved via a QR code. The way to do that, just tap here and find the network you want to share. And once you have found the network you want to share, you can go ahead and tap right here on show network QR code. That way it will pop up a QR code on your screen. And as simple as that, you can share your Wi-Fi password with anyone you want. On the voice memos app of iOS 18, you can now transcribe your recordings. So you tap right there. Of course, you have recorded something. You will have the ability to actually now transcribe it. But if I just go ahead and tap here, we can view the transcription and we can also copy it. Now, what you can do right here is also select anything you want here. And as easy as that, you can copy it and you will have basically things like the ability to translate to any other language you want or find anything you want or search the web for anything on that transcription. So this will actually be pretty, pretty useful. Now if you tap here, of course, you will have all the old tools here to enhance the recording. But as you can see, you can tap and also untap this button to any time view your transcription of the recording that you have made. Now, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max, or you're getting one of the new iPhone 16 series with an action button, now you can actually recognize music using the action button. Simply head on to your settings, go under action button right there, and right here you will find recognize music. You select this and all you have to do then whenever you wanna recognize a song is just tap and hold the action button just like that and it will start listening for any song that is playing. Now, one really useful and very cool feature that Apple has added to iOS 18 on the phone app is the T9 feature. So basically, whenever you're typing a number here on the number pad, it will show you the contacts right here. So whenever you start typing something, of course, it shows you the results. So if I start typing a number here, I don't need to completely type the number if I have it saved on my phone. As soon as I start typing, it will show the number right here. And from here, I can just go ahead and then tap on that contact and it will just add the phone the phone number right there at the top so I can go ahead and make the call from here so that's actually very very useful one other really cool feature is the flashlight UI on iOS 18 so the flashlight has been updated with some amazing features 
on iOS 18. Whenever you turn on the flashlight, you will see this pop up right here. Of course, it goes right there to the dynamic island, but we can just tap there and it will bring it back. Now, as you can see, you can turn up or down the brightness of the flash like this, swapping up or down. But you can also choose the direction, basically the width of the flashlight simply by swiping here, left to right, and of course up and down to turn up or down the brightness so it's actually super useful. The Notes app on iOS 18 also has gotten a ton of updates and one of them is the headings on iOS 18. So whenever you have a heading on one of your notes you can always tap on that little arrow right there so it has that arrow that allows it to collapse and also right here hide anything that you have under that heading so anytime you want to create like a list or something you have a heading at the top if you just tap right there it indicates with that little arrow it's probably hard to see here from the camera but whenever you tap right there it will do its job it's actually quite hard here for doing it from the camera but again as you can see it works pretty well now one really cool thing that Apple has done with iOS 18 is that now the calendar app and the reminders app are actually integrated with each other. So if I have a reminder, it will show up on my calendar as well. So let's say I have an appointment for tomorrow, it will show right here on my calendar. If I tap right there, there you can see we have the reminder. So it's actually pretty cool having it on the calendar app, especially if you're using a widget on the home screen, you will always be reminded with the exact date for your reminders. And last but not least, we're moving to the settings app, on the settings app on iOS 18, iCloud now has its own section. So instead of just going to the top of your settings app under your profile, now you will find a section for your iCloud right here. Just scroll almost all the way down. Just right there you will have your iCloud settings and everything that can be found on iCloud will be right here. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, these are 10 amazing new features that you will be able to find on your device once you install iOS 18 and that should happen Monday, September 16th is the date when iOS 18 will be released to the public. Of course, there are a ton more features on iOS 18 and we will be doing a ton of videos, a ton of tips and tricks and everything else that you need to know regarding the new iOS 18 because it has a ton of features. Probably there are around 30, there are probably around 300 new features and changes and tips and tricks that you need to know on your device running iOS 18. So that's pretty much it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more iOS 18 videos, and I will see you guys on the next one.